the husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. What are you saying, preacher? How can I go to a pit and tell an alcoholic there's something different you can drink? It's called the new wine of the spirit. If I hadn't drank it myself, my God, help me somebody. The Bible said if the blind lead the blind, they'll all fall in the ditch. Turn around and tell somebody beside of you, just say, I'm not going in the ditch. He brought me out of a pit, and he's about to take me to a palace. There's a trumpet going to sound. The dead's going to get up first. They're on the first bus load out of here. And those of us which are alive and remain will congregate in a place where he's going to prepare. And if I go and prepare you a place, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. That's what grace will give you. He gives you liberty and liberation and freedom and joy of the Lord, which is your strength. And it gives you power to become sons and daughters of the living God it'll put you in a palace when this life is over no wonder the writer said amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found I was blind but now I see through many I want to see the hands of the people that say I've walked through some stuff through many dangers Toils and snares. I've only tried to master one thing. And that's the relationship between me and God. My relationship with Him is in the perfected mode. Everything else I touch will fall together for my good and for His glory. Sometimes we get so concerned about everything else except our walk with God. Y'all ain't helping me, so I'm going to finish up. <laughs> Come on, help me, somebody. The Bible said, And what are you mastering? In other words, what are the masteries? Well, I'm trying to master a relationship between me and Jesus where the king of the universe becomes one with, oh Lord, the creation. And we walk in the characteristics of the power of the resurrection. My Lord, we're not no powerless church. We're a powerful church. You got blood on you. I don't care what devil says. Remember who they used to be. I want the devil to understand something. You ain't that person no more if you've been touched by the drop of the blood of Jesus Christ. Anytime hell reminds you who you was, you remind the devil where he's going. The Bible said an angel will come and bind him hand and foot and throw him into a bottomless pit. I, 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 I'm feeling something in here tonight. I, I, I hear something about to explode. There's a sound that amazing grace. I'm tasting something up in my mouth. It's honey. I remember as a kid, I used to sing a song, Heavenly Honey, coming from the throne. Heavenly Honey, the master's on. You can't be filled and satisfied. It's Heavenly Honey. Only God's supply. That's why I say nothing else will fix you like God's power, His wisdom, His relationship, His love, and the marvelous grace of God. If America could get a taste of this, He'll flip them upside down and inside out. My God, He'll put a spring in your step, joy in your life. The wheel will start to spin inside the wheel. The fire will light up in your bones. Out of your belly will flow a river of living water. That's what grace does. Oh, somebody help me preach. Hallelujah. 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 We sung a song about Pastor Gary. And that song can apply to anybody in here. Come on. There's living proof. Somebody needs to tell the devil, you should have killed me before God got me. Should have took me out. Because the word told me because of grace. I can say I'm persecuted, but I'm not forsaken. Cast down. We all get there, but you can't be destroyed. I feel like preaching up in the house. Mm -hmm. Look at somebody and say, persecuted, but I'm not forsaken. Because grace has a sound. There's a sweetness coming up in my mouth. I feel an inner wheel. I, I can feel the fire starting to ignite. It's not I, but Christ that lives within me. Hallelujah. That's why the Buddhists don't understand you. And the Muslim don't understand you. It's because they don't understand grace. They could if they would renounce a dead God and go to serving a living God. Jesus Christ. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. So Damascus wrote, Saul, why persecutors, why do you kick against the prince? Listen to me, Saul, I'm about to turn you around. I'll take away your natural vision. 
vision so I can show you some supernatural vision. What was he saying? He was saying, I'm going to show you some grace. I'm going to show you grace. I'm going to show you some unmerited favor. Don't it just upset you? And I been serving the Lord. No, no, no. Only by the grace of God you've made it since 1973. Only by the grace of God the heart attack didn't kill you. Only by the grace of God you didn't commit suicide. 